In this video, we're checking out the clean house lucky draw, clean house lucky draw, with of course uh, two legendaries in it. We've got the legendary Captain Price Counter Terror and legendary J358 uh, uh, Heavy Handed. Um, so, yeah, uh, if you do want to enjoy the video, make sure to, of course, like and subscribe. And instead of using the J358 only as a video, because I don't think that would make very good, very good gameplay, we're going to we'll use the QQ9 instead, because that is the secondary guy in this lucky draw. So, yeah, if you don't like QQ9 loadout and my J358 loadout, then make sure to, of course, stay tuned till the end for that. And let's get into the video. Today's day shout out goes to uh, Evil Quadem. They have 192 subscribers at the time of recording this video. And they do mainly skins related content. So it's more um, it's more along the lines of lucky draws. And they do some battle royale as well. So yeah, if you do go over and enjoy any of their content, then make sure to, of course, like the videos they do enjoy. And subscribe to the channel in general if you enjoy the whole channel. And uh, yeah, make sure to go over. They'll be down below, down below in the description and up on the screen here. Yeah, make sure to go over. Uh, but, yeah, be supportive. Uh, leave, any, leave any positive and supportive comments you have. And if there is any anything you think they can improve on, then we can talk about what calls go over and, um, and let them know by leaving supportive construct and constructive comments. And yeah, make sure to go over, be positive, be supportive, and let's get into the lucky draw. <laughs> Okay, so here we are in lucky draw. As you can see, we have uh, this is the legendary price draw with the levels of the legendary J358. It's an alright draw. I think the best thing in here is obviously the uh, price skin. It's actually quite a nice one. It's more of a stealthy skin design, more. Yeah, so, of course, it's meant to be uh, designed after a police, kind of like a police a terror, a police kind of counter terror, terrorist um, police officer almost. So, yeah. Uh, definitely a really interesting one. Uh, I'm not going to be doing. I won't be getting this because I, I want to collect all the legendary character skins. But obviously, I'm not going to be getting it now. I don't have the CP for it. But yeah, so we have the uh, the parachute. Uh, this was this is the parachute counter attack. And you know what? It's actually not a bad parachute. We would like a bit more of the, uh, the animated red down. It's quite nice, but I would like a bit, we'll see a bit more of that. But overall, it's going about a six out of ten. Uh, here is the uh, the. Here's the avatar frame. Have the avatar for you to care about that. We have the tank. If those red bits were animated, it would be a lot better, but it's not. So it's not the best, honestly. It's going to get a 4 out of 10. Uh, then we have the uh, boxing gloves. Um, they're alright, actually. Again, a bit more animation would be nice on it, but still. This is about a, a 5 out of 10 I'm going to go with. Here's the QQ9, 2 out of 10 honestly, I've, I actually generally thought when I saw this it was a default QQ9, but no, it has that little strap thing on the side and that's about it, not even a, not even a changed iron sight, so yeah, definitely a re not, not, definitely not the best, um, not a bad, definitely one of the worst throwaway skins there is, it's going to get us obviously like I said, a, um, a 2 out of 10. Then we have the Flash Drone, which I believe is getting a buff next season. Again, like I said, the rest of them would like, would like a bit, on that, bit of the animated red on it. Other than that, it's, uh, it's alright, so it's a 5 out of 10 again. Here's the cooling card, if any of you care about it. And finally, we have the J358. Honestly, if the J358 was better, this would be cooler. But obviously it's not, so it's not as good. Um, it's got some nice, a nice animation, bit animated bits to it. But overall, it's a bit of a meh, alright. Um, yeah, maybe a bit more of the orange enemy to be out of the barrel, but other than that, it's alright, so it's going to get a 6.5 out of 10. And finally, we have the Captain Price skin. All clear! Yes, yeah, decent skin. Um, let's have a look. Of course, All they have. That's quite a long intro animation, actually. Okay, so we have this is the uh, this is the uh, the intro the original intro animation. And here's the here's the Hollow Watch. So it's kind of got like a uh, I don't know what symbol that is, but it's got like a, uh, like a symbol on it. It's quite yeah, that's quite nice. Well, that's quite nice actually. Then we get a stealth dropper. Very nice. So, yeah, I definitely, definitely, because you can see see the stealth troopers as well, and I actually use stealth troopers. So yeah, this would be definitely a really nice one to use. 
La mère des petits passos de chop, c'est en France. Yeah, decent. And here's the loot box. Ah, yeah, it's a bit of a, a bit more of a boring loot box, honestly. Uh, but then in terms of the general pattern price, quite a nice one. It's quite a, more more of a sleek, stealthy design. Um, of course, the, my, my preference would be a little bit more colour on it, but overall, it's going to get a, a 7.5 out of 8, 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10. Most, character, okay. most, of the, most of the Legend of Kite skins are quite good, so yeah. Yeah, yeah so now let's go into train mode. Um, so, as I said in the intro, we are not going to be using the uh, just the J358. Uh, although we are going to try and, get, try and get some gameplay of that for you, uh, we are going to also be using the uh, the QQ9 as well since that's the other like, the uh, other weapon in this draw. We, I thought I'd pull it out again and uh, show you my build, of course. And yeah, so yeah, let's get into training mode, and I can show you off the J358 and the QQ9 in terms of their stats. So yeah, let's get into that. Okay, so here we are on the training mode. Now as you can see, uh, first of all, uh, the J358. Let's go first with the J358. Um, of course, no one ever uses this gun. The all of the gold is just is just that much better. Um, Yeah, maybe if this was 2019, 2020, uh, the, the legendary, um, 2020, well, before the deal came out, um, the legendary J3 was going to be a lot more appreciated, but of course, and no one ever uses it anymore, so it's uh, they're kind of redundant. The only people who, use it, who would use it are like specifically people who, uh, who actually, who actually like, specifically use it just because they want to be different and use it. Um, well, then it's more of a specialist weapon than, uh, than that I want to use it because it's a meta weapon. Um, Oh yeah, but in terms of that lucky draw, um, I want to say the only people who really buy it is people who collect legendary characters, like me. Uh, people who don't have them, um, people who uh, enjoy using the J358, so a very small amount, and people who like the fire character skin in general. So yeah, that, that's a slightly bigger, slightly, slightly bigger percentage, uh, percentage of the, uh, the player base will be, uh, will be the ones uh, with, who like the uh, who like the price skin. Yeah, but overall, the uh, J358, of course, I've got the one you get from zombies. I can't remember exactly what it's called. But uh, it's quite an, quite an old skin, this one. Of course, they bring it back. But overall, the J358 is just difficult to use. And uh, uh, if you're going to go with a pistol, a two shot pistol, then I would uh, highly recommend going for the. Um, going for the. the uh, Eagle instead. Well, we might as well check out the. Uh, of course, the, it's, uh, it's a raw, so it doesn't have any, have any damage. I mean, no damage. Uh, record at all. And the, the hit fastback is not actually bad on it. Okay, so just 70 to the legs. 70, 70, 100. So it's a one shot kill to the to the head, of course. It's actually, I wonder how, how, far, how far that extends to. Still at 100 out of is this, I might go all the way out honestly, or we're at 40 inches. Okay, no, so it does drop off, uh, probably around 30 meter mark, I would say, yeah, 70. So it's not all guaranteed one shot, all the way out to on the headshot. And now, let's just switch just, 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 just to 29. Actually, it's one of my, actually, it's one of my favourite, uh, the best aggressive uh, SMG in the game, I would say. Off maybe the Fennec. The Fennec and the Q-Kanai are kind of, um, uh, rivals. The Fennec is more, Better up close, and it's and then the Q9 is more a medium to lot, uh, a, a close to medium range gun, slightly more versatile. So, yeah, you want to uh, pick which one you want. But yeah, I definitely prefer the Q9 myself. I mean, there's not much really has to be said that hasn't already been said about this gun. I think I used it pretty recently, so yeah. Superb gun, hand three shot if you hit, if you hit the upper body and the other uh, first 10 meters. Um, so, yeah, definitely, definitely want to check out. That's a road that has some fun with it this today. Of course, have the extra damage mag on this on this bad boy. But yeah, of course the uh, the hip fire is very good. I was sure it to you. Oh, wait, yeah, it's all the other.
I can see very tightly thread tip fire, so very nice. And then uh, in terms of the recoil, this is what the recoil is. Basically straight up. There's 27. Twenty-seven, thirty, thirty-five, thirty-eight. So you have to hit two off body shots or one headshot for it to make it a three shot. So very cheap well after this range. Then let's put it to a twenty meter range. Twenty-nine. So it's like twenty-two, twenty-nine. One. And finally, all the way out at the what meter range? I'm going to go to the low teens. Well, I suspect it's to be of, 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 I suspected for an SMG like this, it's, uh, it's, it's going to be a it's not not quite as good. So yeah. Uh, one definitely would recommend checking out the uh, the uh, the Q29. Not so much the J3 highlight. So now let's get into, of course, the uh, the ranked gameplays. Hostiles have captured the hard point. Hard point is ours. Hard point. Hard point is ours. Here is the uh, Q-Canal loadout I just used in those gameplays. So 
so they have the um, I say damage range accuracy build because of the fire rate. Uh, the mobility on this is still over 100, 101, um, and the control is uh, it's not 32, so it's not uh, it might have a little time, hard time on the recall if you aren't have very good control the recall, but it's completely fine. No, I don't know if I want to play with you at the moment, thanks. Uh, but yeah, so as it's, it's an SMG, it needs increasing all those damage range and accuracy. Uh, because it's, it's, it makes them more basically to make them more versatile. So yeah, we have the model expressor for the science ability and plus 15% damage at range. We have the attack recon long barrel for the minus 6.4% ADS bullet spread, plus 25% damage at range and minus 6.4% horizontal recoil. We have the no stop for the plus 15% ADS time, and plus 4% movement speed and plus 7% ADS movement speed. We have the 10 mm 30 round reload for the 15 plus 15 damage at range, uh, plus damage increase damage increases the body part multipliers, uh, and then we have finally have the ground laser grip tape with the minus 11.6 percent ADS bullet spread. Okay, so here's my G3458 ladder. Four months I'll give you it since we don't get no one to use, get to use it. So yeah, this is probably like the one chance I get to give it to you. So yeah, we have the IP light flash guard for the uh, so the hidden, hidden muscle flash minus 16 percent ADS bullet spread and minus 7.8 percent so 9.6 percent ADS bullet spread and minus 6.7 percent hit fire spread accuracy. We have the J358 custom long barrel for the minus 7.6 percent ADS bullet spread plus 25 percent damage range and minus 3.2 percent horizontal recoil. We have the OWT attack laser for minus 8 percent ADS time and minus 9.2 percent ADS bullet spread. We have the match grade trigger for the plus 5 in fire interval and the minus, plus minus 5 or minus 10% fire interval and minus 5% ADS bullet spread. Then finally, we have the Odyssey stopping power reload for the um, plus 30% damage range, increased damage, and increased the damage body part multiplier uh, multiple damage as well. See ya.